M0 FXV Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Mesh Tastic and enabling MQTT via your PC serial connection. I've got my phone on the right hand side here as well, so I'll probably show you that as well. But I'm using the Bender case here with the Helltech version 3 inside. Okay, so let's just. First thing you want to do is if you want to use your serial connection, is go to this address here, client dot meshtastic dot org just here at the top uh, let me show you i'll put the link in the des description but it's here client dot meshtastic dot org okay and when you go to your device you plug in to the the you know my unit here a usb cable that goes to your computer then right click go device manager have a look on the go to ports, double click and look for an active connection there. We've got Silicon Labs CP210. So that's that's my Helltech version three. So we know the number's 29, okay? Close that. So we've gone to the client address. Go here and go new connection and then go over to serial. Now you can use Bluetooth, you can use Wi-Fi, but we're doing serial here. So that's why we need the cable connected. And then I know you get this, this number here, just click it and it will just connect. And um, we're also connected to my phone still via Bluetooth. It does allow you to use Bluetooth and a serial connector at the same time, but you do have to turn that on. So if you look at your phone here, go three dots and go to radio configuration. So we're just on the phone now. Then scroll down until you see serial. Hopefully that will connect. Serial, and then it connects, and you just need to make sure that you've enabled, serial enabled, and I've enabled echo. Apparently that's so you can receive your, you know, see your own, your own messages. Do that, then when you use the client, it will connect. Let's go back to the main page for now. Click my user there. So on the left, we've got the, Client dot mesh tastic communicator. It's a bit different than using the phone. You have to sort of get used to it. So when you're at the top, that's an obvious one. Messages, yeah. If you go to map, you can find me. Hopefully, I'm here. See that? Hamtech. There you go. Look at the top. As we do this, look at the top. Then we go to config, and at the top, you've got some more selections there. So if you scroll down, we're looking at device settings. I'm just, just going to show you anything that I've changed that's different from default settings. So going down, I can't see anything that I changed there at all in device settings, apart from you've got serial output is enabled. Okay, that's config. Next one down is channels. Go to channels and look again here. So at the bottom here it says uplink and downlink enabled and they're both slid across and you can press submit now i find that if you're on the phone if you go three dots then go to radio config channels and then click where it says long fast look you can turn them on there and save as well leave that there for now so that worked for me then go down to nodes now when you're on nodes you'll be able to see all these all these different nodes here. Get that cancel. Go back to config, and then now we're going to be we're looking at the top now. Let's get that back to the map. The map always looks nice. There's the map there. So anyway, at the top we've got device. Then move over. So you're in config here. When you're in config, you've got radio config. It's a subsection here and module config. So as you go across, you've got position and I'm using a fixed position. You could enable GPS if you've got that in your unit. Power, not changed anything there. Network, I haven't changed anything there, although I could enable Wi-Fi, but you'd lose Bluetooth. Display, I haven't touched that. LoRa, going down. I did turn, there's one there that tells you to hide the, the transmits from, where is it? I'll find it in a sec. There it is, it says ignore MQTT. Turn that off, yeah? 
Okay, I'm looking for anything else. No, I didn't change anything there. And then Bluetooth, yeah, we don't need to do that because we're, we're using Bluetooth now. Now go underneath to module config. Now, if you want to have a quick play with MQTT on your phone, I go here to where it says here. Yeah, look, that's all the, the you know the signals you're receiving there. Enable it, but don't enable it for very long. That's my advice. So enable it, and then you want to save. Your device should reboot. If it doesn't. I did click save, enabled. I'm just going to see if it is enabled on my phone. And we'll just click check. So I know we've saved it, but to me it hasn't rebooted. Radio config. I'm going to save there as well. So what I'll do is on my phone, I'll go to the same thing. So we go to three dots. Radio config, go down to MQTT. See, see the way it has it didn't save on the serial connection. So maybe you've got to save something else first, but I'll just turn that on and click send, and then you will definitely see it reboot now. So that's strange that the serial connection didn't want to save, but I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Maybe maybe change something else and then click save. But anyway, that has turned it on. So if we go back to module config, MQ, you, know, you can see there, enabled. Someone tell me where the save is, because you've got the save here. Surely there should be another save somewhere. So it's enabled, so now if we go back to channels, nodes, sorry, and if we look here, go back one on the phone, back again. Here, on the phone, you're gonna start seeing lots of signals coming through via MQTT. Just sit and watch that for a minute. There you go, it's coming through now. Now if we look on the serial, I'm trying to look on the serial connection to see if we also get it here. Not really seeing anything obvious. Sandman Lake, I mean it flies in, you know, it starts to fly in. Maybe it's at the other end. Tom's Gateway. Go to channels. We're on that channel. Config. I don't see it flying in via. You got these here nodes coming in. I was expecting to see it all here. I'm clicking everything. Go position, power, network display, LoRa, Bluetooth, channels. We've only got one channel. Nodes. This is where I'd expect to see it. And we are connected. So that's it. Well, ultimately, MQT is to, MQTT is turned on. So we'll turn it off now. We'll just go three dots. Radio config. Down to, where is it? MQTT. Turn it off and send. I've turned it off now, so I wouldn't leave it on for long anyway. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 7-3. All the best.